All right, for somebody, for anybody that uh, hasn't seen my last video on door handles or doesn't plan on watching it, let me bring you up to date. What I did in my last door handle video is I tried to install one of these right out of the box. It's an eBay handle, and I had some problems with it. It was binding up, so I clear, so I tried to clearance it. I ground on it, ground on it some more, hit the springs a little bit, hit the front of it by accident of course and it's still having problems opening I actually took out a pretty good amount I don't know if you could tell from that but okay so what I went ahead and did was I installed a low range off-road handle and it opens no problem without even adjusting it on these you could actually run the adjustment all the way up to where it will open but it's no longer a free pin fit and what I mean by that is on something like an adjustment you're supposed to have the the hole and the pin you're supposed to adjust it where it goes in level and freely you're not supposed to have to squish the rod you know really far down just to get it in the hole because if you do that what you're essentially doing is halfway opening the door and in my opinion you know it might not be that much of a problem but then again your door might fly open when you don't want it to so I don't do that I'm not I'm not going to use this handle all right let me show you what I'm talking about on the door real quick and then I'll move on. And this is what I'm talking about. In order to have the door open without too much force, this adjustment has to be ran all the way up to where it's flush at the top, and I refuse to go higher than that. Okay, in order to get it in, notice how much how much offset it is. Like you gotta squish it down like a quarter or half an inch to get it in. And if you notice that the rod doesn't move very much. So you probably have it a quarter of the way open or something like that. And I really don't like that. Not to mention this handle, when you try to fit it in, you have to wiggle it in. The low range goes right in. And having to take it on and off so many times to try to clearance it and do all this, you run the risk of scratching your door up. Mine doesn't really matter because it has ugly paint. What am I going to do about it? That's simple. Since I threw away my original door handle, by mistake I threw away the, the bracket and everything, I'm going to take the bracket from this eBay handle and put a low range handle on it and see how it works. And the way you do that is you have to grind off these rivets, or it's not a rivet, it's a whatever, you just have to grind the flat part off, pull the pins out and take the handle off and keep the springs because you're going to need them. Let me get my face shield, I really like this thing. So just remember how the springs went. I already did the other one, so I kind of remember. <coughs> as far as I know, these are the symmetrical, like they're the same on both sides. The bracket sits in there like this. The springs must, uh, when they're put in right, they're supposed to get smaller, like coil inward, if that makes any sense. So you stick the spring in this little hole. Probably covered it up with what I was doing, but it's kind of hard to show this. That little piece goes right there, that little it's part of the spring, and then the other side goes in the hole. And you can put a screw in it.
it's really not easy to do. All right, let's get those screws in there. Plastic nylon nut goes on next. And then you can tighten them. Make sure they're threaded in straight. It's kind of hard to do, but you got to make sure they're straight. So what I'm going to do here is just take the slack out of it without actually tightening it. Feels pretty good to me. Okay, now I'm gonna put the bushing in it and, and install it back in the door. Notice how the, this handle, the eBay one, it doesn't just come straight out. You have to drop one side. Meanwhile, scratching your paint probably, you get it just right. Oh my god. Okay, then the low range off road handle it goes right in. Pretty much right out. Okay, this is the free pin fit I'm talking about. You're not supposed to have to squish it in there. You're supposed to adjust it where it goes right in. All right, so they're pretty much level. I'm gonna squish it just a little bit to get it in. But by the time it leans over, it doesn't really have much tension on it or nothing. Hmm. Anyway, time to go test it. And here you go. Okay, so the conclusion, I used a low-range off-road handle and a stock bracket. It worked perfect without even adjusting it. You know, after removing the stock handle and stock bracket, all I did was took it off, put it on, it worked perfect. When I installed one of these eBay handles, I had a clearance of a whole bunch and it still didn't work good. When I finally got it to work, I had the adjustment ran way up, and I didn't like that. So then I took one of those brackets off the eBay handle, put the low-range off-road handle on it, and it worked decent. Worked pretty good, actually.